Hey everyone, we're going to do a quick uh, tear down examination of a PF Sense firewall. That's model SG, get that to focus, model SG 2220. <coughs> Pardon me. It um, connects, has a LAN and WAN port plus a console connection. It's a uh, low cost firewall. Um, that you can use on small to medium sized business networks. This was one of their lower priced options. Um, it was back ordered a little bit, but um, they sent it out and you get a little card tells you how to get started. They give you a sticker, uh, you get a little cleaning cloth, and you get a 12 volt power supply with it that plugs into there. Uh, construction's nice. Metal, aluminum I'm guessing, that's what it feels like. Uh, the rubber plugs that you see are for the optional wireless that this model does not have. Uh, I have the post-it over because I don't want to give out my serial number, obviously. So it's held together by uh, four screws, two on either side. So I'm going to pop them out and then we'll take the top off and see what's inside. And there we go. The screws are out. There's the inside. Nice looking board. That does not look like it was cheap to make. Lead matching. All kinds of stuff. All right, well, let's start the power. 12 volts comes in here. Inductor, capacitor. Probably feeds into this stuff here. That's all power supply. There's two inductors. I'm pretty sure that chip's a uh, power supply control. Uh, then... We have our Ethernet in and out, and it looks like some USB control stuff, a header, pardon me, for uh, programming, I guess. Um, I haven't really gotten that far into it yet. This is the first time I've had the top off. Uh, I guess actually that might be an expansion slot. Not really sure. It's definitely some stuff not on this one. This is, like I said, the lower option one, so... There's probably a connector here that gets put on that goes up to more stuff, maybe for the wireless. It's got a SIM card for mobile PCIe, I guess. Yeah. Maybe that's what this was for. Not really sure. But obviously the brain's under there. It's uh, built really well. I don't think I'm going to take the board out. If there's any reason to look underneath. I see some stuff. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Let's see how hard it's just those four screws. All right, I'll take the board out. Hold on. I'm glad I did take the board out because I can see it has some uh, SSD slots. I can I can definitely add a hard drive to this. It's pretty good. Thought I could. Another one there, too. I guess that would be for a modem, if that's the MPCIE. Yeah, so that would be for a modem. And then there's a RAM. And then what do we have? What are these guys? Can we focus on that? No. Let's see. Those are... Those are Ethernet control chips. And then it looks like we have a serial EEPROM. Probably for a, a BIOS sort of thing. Then we have these extra screws. I guess those are for adding those options. So I might uh, have to read up on this. I know these are customizable beyond what I have here. So this is cool. All right, I'm going to get it put back together and hooked up. Um... There you go, that's the inside of a PF Sense uh, firewall. Thanks for watching.